I clearly don't have enough information to make that decision by the seat of my pants. And I think it would be unwise and um, not judicious of, of me to do something like that. So we can place it on the agenda and have further discussions about whether it's appropriate or not and get Chief Steer's comments about this because he may have something to say too. And I understand that everybody's horribly upset and you want to see action right away, but that's not the way business should be done. That's not the way democracy is run where you say he should be discharged immediately without even knowing the facts. So maybe you all know more facts than I do, but I don't have those facts in front of me right now to do that tonight. So it may be that sometime when it's placed on the agenda appropriately, um, there would be facts that would lead to that. There may not be facts that lead to that. I don't know. So for me, I'm not in favor of doing something on the spot just because I need more information. Mr. Talamantes? I concur. I also want to uh, extend my condolences to the Gunn family. Uh, obviously, coming from a safety background, I know what all you safety members are going through. I know what the family is going through. Uh, so, you know, it's one of those things that we have two employees. The city council have two employees. We have the city manager and the city attorney. As far as department heads, that belongs to the city manager. He deals with department heads the way he wants to. That's a personnel item. And we all know personnel issues are personal. I mean, we have to keep them personal like that. Coming from a safety background, I know you guys realize that. I know you're agreeing with me right now when I'm saying this. Because we all have rights. We all have rights. I know coming from the fire background, we have certain rights. Police officers have even more rights. Uh, so the, the police chief has rights himself. I don't know the facts. This is the first, like Vice Mayor Rankin mentioned. This is new to me. This is very surprising to me what Dr. Gordon is doing here tonight. Very surprising. And I understand what happened. I realized what happened several days ago. It hurt us all. It hurt the whole family. I'm including the whole city as a family. Okay, because we took pride. Sergeant Gunn was a professional police officer. I mean, he was out there. He was he was amongst the best. There's no question about it. But at the same time, people have rights. You know, so in regards to the police chief, he's got rights as well. Uh, so not having enough information, that's what I came here. I ran on getting information, listening to people, listening to both sides, and then came, coming to a conclusion, what's best for the city. And that's what I'm... I'm doing here tonight, and I don't have the I don't have the the information that I need to make a decision. Dr. Gordon, first of all, if I may address the comments of Vice Mayor Ranke, I absolutely did not call for the discharge of Chief Steer. I called for putting placing him on administrative leave, which has occurred to many officers in our department when there's a question of what is going on. That's number one. Number two, it is common practice in the United States, in any government agency, and even in private agencies, when there's a question of propriety or things working properly in a uh, government or a city or in a uh, business environment, the individuals without uh, slander to their profession or name are placed on administrative leave until the matter is cleared up. That's all I'm asking. I am not asking to deprive anyone of their rights their personnel matter. You're correct. The city manager and the city attorney works for us. With due respect to Ms. Ranke, Vice Mayor Ranke's comment, that we're going to be provided, everyone's going to be provided with all the information. We heard Mr. Barlow a week ago say that when the report comes back of this police investigation, it will not be shared with the council. That's unacceptable to this council member. And I think you all ought to think about that. We're not going to have all the information. We have a city that has been traumatized, and I sincerely believe we have health and safety issues that are urgent. They did not come to my attention fully until Friday evening when it was too late to alter the agenda, and it's precisely the reason why we have the process of placing things urgently on the agenda. And if you don't think this is a serious enough matter to do it, I don't know what to say. Mr. Reiki? Um, I don't have enough information, so maybe you have more information than me. What in particular has Chief Steer done 
in the last few days to put him on administrative leave. What specifically did he have to do with Officer Gunn's death? If you can tell me these things and you can make a relationship, maybe I'll consider it. But so far, you've not said anything substantive. You're, you're making a lot of big comments and people are clapping for you, but what specifically did he do? Why spe specifically should he put on an administrative leave? I don't get it. If you could tell me something, that's fine. Did Chief Steerhan or assist in his death? No. I, I would like to know exactly what he did, because then maybe I would consider it. Dr. Gordon, let me kind of weigh in here for a second. That <clears throat> first off, from a personal note, uh, obviously there was a very big tragedy in the city of Burbank, not only from the police department, for the Gunn family, but also for the residents of the city of Burbank. And this is a very emotional time for all of us, no question about it. Adrenaline's running high, emotions are running high. <clears throat> and at this time, you know, I know we have a number of representatives here from the police department that are in support of, as we all were, of, of Sergeant Gunn, a 22-year veteran of the City of Burbank Police Department. But this is just a small, minute group of the entire BPOA, as far as I'm concerned. I would like to hear from the BPOA. I have not spoken with their president, Mr. Mike Perinello, uh, or anybody else. So, to be honest with you, uh, before I weigh in on anything like that, and uh, before I speculate on anything, I would like to speak with the representatives from the BPOA. Uh, you know, we're all aware that the sheriffs were called in. We heard the FBI was involved. We brought down our own external or internal uh, investigator and uh, attorney to look into alleged things happening within a department, numerous things within the department. None of us know who was interviewed. None of those results have been given to any of us. We're not privy to that information. I can't believe anybody told you anything from any interview, Dr. Gordon or Mrs. Ranke or Mr. Glonsky or Mr. Talamontes and myself. These are ongoing investigations. And when the investigations are complete, Common sense tells me the Sheriff's Department would turn things over to the District Attorney if they were thinking about prosecuting anybody, whatever it might be, whether it be suspensions. I don't know. We don't know. I think we have to take the process and, and let this investigation be totally complete. Let it come forward. We can deal with that time. But for the time being, I wouldn't support uh, your recommendation. I would like to hear from the entire Burbank Police Officers Association. And I have the utmost respect for every single person out here from law enforcement. There's no doubt about it. And I know quite a few of you but I want to hear from everybody. Thank you. Dr. Gordon? I'm not privy. I would emphasize, in particular, I'm not privy to inside information uh, on this matter. I am not accusing anyone of anything. I am not trying to try anyone this evening. I'm not trying to do anything other than represent the best interest of this community. We're under oath as council members to protect the health, safety, and welfare of this community and the citizens of this community, among all other, that includes police officers, that includes people in the community. Obviously, it's not penetrating. Obviously, you're not understanding it. I will request respectfully to be placed as soon as possible on the agenda so the council can consider it in the process that the remainder of the council sees fit. That being said, for the explanation for Vice Mayor, if she doesn't seem to see what I'm perceiving. You have a police department that is under great stress. Everyone acknowledges it. There's people on staff, people in the public, everyone. This city cannot continue to operate. We have people from, police officers from Glendale operating in Burbank. You don't see that as a problem? I don't remember seeing Glendale police servicing the police needs of uh, Burbank. We have a problem. Am I blaming any one individual? Absolutely not. But the, the buck stops somewhere in the department. We have a city manager who's...